his eyes. So, to the women's competition and the next gold medal bout on. The number one seed, the world champion from Thailand, Panipa Wong Patanakit, fighting against, from Chinese Taipei, Chuang Chen Yu. New round of judges and referees. Long day in the chair for our referees panel as well. Important to mention that because such a good job they do. Chinese Taipei without a gold medal in the Taekwondo arena over the two days of Pumse and so far the first two days of sparring. It couldn't be a tougher challenge against the number one seed from Thailand, Panipa Wong Patanakit. Number one in the seeding, number one in the Olympic world rankings. She's the current world champion from Manchester. She also won the 2015 world champion and in between those two, picked up a silver medal in 2017 in Muju. When it comes to world class, this woman has every box ticked. What of her opponents? Chuang Chen Yu, 137 ranking places further down. That will matter for very little out on the mat. And she'll know it. She had a good showing at the World Championships in Manchester. Made it to the round of 16. So here we go in the women's flyweight gold medal bouts. Wong Patanakit in the blue, Zhuang in the red. Both fighters are students. Chuang studies at the National Taiwan Sport University. And Panipa Wong Patanakit, a sports science student. Imagine her schedule a little bit difficult to manage with all the travelling around the world, which you need to do on the circuit to be number one. Wong Patanakit coming forward off that front foot. Just switching stance and now going off the left leg. Punch coming in. As we see through this final, we will get a chance just to see the full range that Wong Patanakit is able to cover with that front leg. It is otherworldly. Fighters just think they may be safe, but then that 
comes over the top, round the back, headshot, thank you very much. I think you've quelled the attack and then comes back at you from another angle, it is frightening. So unnerving. Especially when you're trying to settle into a fight, you might find yourself three points down. And that is the situation Chong is in. Other than that moment, both fighters just trying to eye each other up and work out where the weaknesses are. There aren't too many for Wong Patanaka. She adds another two points with that front leg to the trunk. Just checking forward and then going for a little hook kick. And that'll be the first round and it's going with form. Wong Patanaka, five points up. This was the first scoring point. Another level of dexterity. She's no stranger to close run matches, is Chong Chen Yu, because she came through her semi final against Irina Romoldanova from the Ukraine. That was only really decided in the very closing seconds and in her quarter final. Was only ahead towards the very end of that. Five down here, so no cause for alarm. Just from looking at the scoreboard, the alarm is the ease with which when Wong Patanaki wants to, she can use that front foot to devastating effect. Close enough for a punch. Doesn't quite land. And if there is a part of Patanakit's ability, it has been the punching. It's just been a little soft, not registered too many times, not uh, impressed the judges enough to award the punch, but that's no troubling adding another two with a shot to the trunk. Get a feeling that Chong is still thinking more about what her opponent is going to be doing and trying to avoid it and limit the damage than being able to land her own shots. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining in the second round. Much less which Wong Patanakit has done because much less she's had to do. She's comfortably in the lead. Now she's trying to push her opponents, get a few nudges maybe, get a Gamjong from Chong going outside the boundary lines. It is working for the Thai fighter. It's going to have to be pretty special from here for Chung Chen Yu. Slow motion just shows it so well where it's like from her knee down, it has a control system of its own. 
顶完，现在等他跑掉再接，变上端都可以。Two minutes remaining in this women's flyweight final here at Naples 2019. The number one seed, Wang Patanakit from Thailand in the blue and from Chinese Taipei, Chuang Chen Yu in the red. Still, Chuang is rocked back on that hind leg of hers just now she tries to come forward. Doesn't manage to because the counter is good and that's three more points for one Patanakit. There she goes round the back again. And it's a Gamjon for holding. So a penalty point against Cheong. In her semi-final, Wong Patanakit won by over 20 points. No point gap victories being awarded in these latter stages. So. The fight just went on and it was, became a training exercise for Wong Patanakit. A sensational way to enter a final. And she's just kicked on. Kicked on and kicked in and aimed for the head when she's got the chance. But within that, it is a disciplined performance. Her opponent, in that respect, just knows she can live a little bit further away because she can then strike forward. Chong bravely getting in close. It's another point added that time with the punch. There goes another three. 20 seconds remaining. It has been another masterclass. The semi final was in that category too. For Thailand, Panipa Wong Patanakit cruising towards this gold medal. Another Gamjon. And that will settle things. Great respect shown between the two throughout the fight in the way it was conducted. There was never a doubt. Panipa Wong Patanakit is the gold medalist in the women's flyweight division. Another victory for this supreme taekwondo athlete. For Chueng Chien Yu, another proud moment for her in her career, Chinese Taipei with the silver medal. Well, a two time world champion, the reigning world champion from Manchester earlier this year, the Asian Games champion from last year. She's also the Universiade champion from back in 2017. She's performed on the Olympic level, bronze medalist at Rio 2016. And she is a true titan of her sport. Well, everyone here in the Palakazoria has just been thrilled to see her in action. Confirmation of what we saw out on the map. 17 points, total domination in a taekwondo fight. Congratulations to Panipa Wong Patanakit and to Chung Chen Yu, the silver medalist from Chinese Taipei.